today I went radium hunting. That is, I've been to small antique shops for looking for watches. And um, I've been there with my dosimeter, so the seller was kind of suspicious <laughs> of what I was doing and was closely monitoring me. And he was asking what I'm exactly measuring with this device. And I just told him that it measures the alloy that's inside those watches and um, that only a value over 10 is good and um, that only then the watches are actually worth something. He didn't really believe me but uh, he still sold me those watches for a reasonable price because he had no idea what he had in his little shop. Well, let's take a closer look at those watches using UV light. And you can see the green glow from the radium paint. And this one as well. And hang on, I'll zoom in for focus. And you can see the radium paint is on the watch hands and on the number dial things, whatever those are. And in this one, you can see they are on the watch hands and on the numbers as well. But if you compare this watch to this watch, you can see the one on the right glows much brighter. And what this means regarding to radioactivity, I'll show you in a second. This is the watch I got last time when I went for when I went radium hunting. And let's see how radioactive it is. That's just beta and gamma radiation as all alphas are shielded by the watch class anyway. Okay, so we have about three microsieverts in our here. Let's see, what about the other one? The one with the fainter glow. Oh, that's better. Let's see, we have over five microsieverts here. And let's see the one that really was glowing really, really bright. And if I hold it right on a dial, you can see there's quite a high activity here. I actually managed to get about 22 microsieverts before. Just trying if we can find the right spot again. Oh, but you could get the idea. And then there's another watch. This one. It's the fourth watch I got. What's special about this, you may ask? It's just, yeah, average in radioactivity, average in radium content. Well, what is special about this watch is... It works. It really works. I had it running for about four hours now and it's still right on time. So this is a working radium watch 
from the 1950s. It's about 60 years old. And this quality German watch, by the way, of course, just kidding, um, is still working, as you see. That's amazing. I, I think I'm just gonna put a wrist strap on it and wear it. That's gonna be awesome. A real working radium watch. With nice glow. You can see it has it on the dials and on the numbers as well. The little dots next to the number things. Well, watch hands, I actually meant to say. We want to watch hands and on the number dials. 